Good morning. <clears throat> I'm at the end of the day, as far as wildlife goes, but I just wanted to get out there and get to doing stuff without uh, slowing myself down too much. I had a hard time getting out this morning because I didn't sleep very well. Probably the the food I ate yesterday, we ate out kind of a celebration because I got a raise this week at work. I asked for one finally after two years. And I got it. Which is great. That means more money that I can start putting towards this. I'm going to do a budget once my new pay comes in and I see what it is after taxes. I can budget it out and see how much I can start saving up towards the things I want to get. But I did get up. I did get out here around sunrise. Back to the state park like I've been coming to. Um, pretty good as far as wildlife. I went near the water edge. Uh, yesterday I did stills photography in the same area and I just kind of walked around a whole area so I kind of scouted out and then today I found a good spot and I sat down for a while. Uh, the coolest thing I saw today and I'm really happy about it. I hope the footage came out but man I was pushing it. I was zoomed all the way to 400 which is the I have a 100 to 400 lens with an extender that multiplies it by about one, one and a half, a little bit more, a little bit less. Is it 1.4 or 1.6? 1.6 times is the crop on my Canon 7D, and then that one is a 1.4 times extender. I need to get the 2x extender so I can go twice as far. Um, that's one of the things I'm going to be saving up for to get that and hopefully a new lens and a better tripod. And for stills photography, I'd like to get a better full frame. I'd like to upgrade that. There's a lot of things I want and not a lot of money to go around. Anyway, I was maxed out as far as I could to see this bit of wildlife. And then I was zoomed in even further because the, uh, the viewfinder for the Ursa Mini has a zoom function. So I've been using that because if I use that and I crop it the way I want to, or I, I zoom the way I want to, I fill the frame as much as I want while it's zoomed, then I have even more to play with and I can zoom it in post and it gives me more if I'm too close, which rarely ever happens, but if, if I've gone too much and I try to use the stabilization when I'm editing, that crops it in even further. So then I'm losing part of the image, hopefully not. Anyway, all that to say, to get around to the actual point, what I did see, zoomed all the way in with all of those things we just talked about, was an otter. I saw a little otter running around. He was, uh, I was sitting there with the blind and I saw it run right under me along the water edge where it's all frozen and just kind of run along. And so I positioned myself so that I could see and it came up and around and out onto the bank. And then I was like, all right, well, that's cool. And I didn't, and then he goes in the water, like, oh, awesome. And I get to get him going across the water and then comes up on the other side and starts just rolling around to like get the water off and but like rolling on the top of the, it snowed last night. So it's fresh snow on the ice for that. And just rolling all around being all cute and then kind of wandered off and ducked down into the bushes on the other side of the bank. So that was awesome. Uh, my sister specifically, my older sister will love that because she loves otters. So I can't wait to get that footage edited and hope that it comes out good enough that I can share it and be like, eh? Because if not, and there's no footage of an otter after I finish talking, that means it didn't come out, and I'm sad. <laughs> that's that's future Michael in about three weeks by the time I get to editing that footage is sad. <laughs> but yeah, it wasn't very long. Uh, this was the shortest day by far that I've taken the video camera out. I tried to go for longer, and it was just the wind. The wind picked up. Um, right now it says it's 15 miles an hour. And like throughout the day, it's only gonna get, it's not going down. It's only going up to like 25 or 30 the whole day. So like, A, that makes me cold. I can deal with that. I've got plenty of layers. I'm okay with that. The main thing is that it, uh, it was blowing the blind just all over the place. I, the, about, I got about an hour, hour and a half of good shooting. And then the rest of the time, 45 minutes to an hour was me just holding on to it, hoping the wind would stop. I tried to put the stakes in, the ground was completely frozen, and I couldn't put them in by hand at all, even trying to get them just started enough to the point where I could stomp on it to get them in, not happening. Just not. So lesson learned, wind, definitely going to be a, th a factor here, it's very flat, it's very windy, I need to prepare for that. I got um, recognized for my hard work at my job that I have, and got a gift card to Amazon, that's a regular thing that happens. Uh, I just spent that gift card before I started recording while I was 
eating a little snack, taking a drink of water, and calming down so I'm not out of breath when I'm trying to talk to the camera. I just pulled up and ordered a hammer on Amazon. Just a little one that I, uh, I'm going to stick in my bag. And then I'll have that for next time where that should be here throughout the week. And then next weekend I'll take that out and I can actually put the stakes in and hammer them down this time. And I think that's it. We'll see if any of the other fridge came out. Mostly just uh, waterfowl. Same thing I've been seeing. Really like the common golden eye and the mallards. We'll see if anything. The, the otter was definitely the best part of today. Even though it was a short day. Still a good day. Every day that I'm getting out and practicing is a good day. That's the only way I'm going to get any better is to keep practicing. Keep, keep working on it. Hopefully work out a budget so I can afford the things that will help me on the technical side. And then it's just a matter of honing in the skills. Which... It's going to be a long time, but better I start at it now. I've already made improvements. I can, I could tell I've had, I've owned the camera for about three months now and I, I'm far f more proficient with it than I was three months ago. So three months from now, it won't be winter and I'll be able to do this more often and without as much fuss with all of the layers and the having to take everything and bundle up and, oh, it's going to be a good summer. That's for sure. Anyway, I'm gonna go home. After I defrost my windshield because it fogs up while I'm talking. Bye.